Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Jay, here with another video. And today, uh, I'm just going to show you guys voting, the voting map or whatever, and I'm going to show you some secrets of the voting map as well. To vote for your favorite hybrid from the hybrid contest, it is right here, right here. Teleport to hi hybrid voting map, and all you gotta do is click it. That's it. That's all you gotta do. All right, and once you load in here into the map, you'll notice it's a it's a pretty nice map. Uh, you can see all the hybrids on display right here. This is made by the person who made Alamitas. Uh, they're like Lavatura, La Lavatura. Um, I will definitely like put it on the screen right now because uh, I'm definitely mispronouncing it. But that's who drew that. And you you can just pick what whichever room you want to. There's Alamitas. There is Echothotus, there's Segnopelta, the Loca Milosaurus, uh, Jean Gulochus, Malgamari Regis, Thokosaurus, Hinchinosaurus, Iguanotharus, Fastlo Lethirium. And that is all the things you do. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering, wait, how do I vote? You'll see this thing right here. It'll be grayed out for you. I, it's not grayed out for me because I already voted. But all you gotta do is come into a random room. I'll just go into uh, Dolly's room real quick. You gotta look around, find this. There's a little button. It's pretty obvious. It's right here. It says vote for for Dolly Chimalosaurus. Pronouncing it wrong, but that's okay. And you just hold down, hold down all the way. And then boom, a little particle effect will come off of you. Uh, I already voted, so I can't vote again. Uh, but once you vote once, you can't vote again. So make sure you vote for what you want. And if you guys want to wait a few days, I might I might have some videos coming out soon that might help you with your voting. Uh, but anyways, time to show you some secrets. All right, as you can see behind the sign right here, there is a, uh, a little creature right there. Uh, that is the Cyber Concavenator from dinosaur arcade and also there is inda's roblox avatar right there behind the sign holding up he is an even he's an evangelion character uh this is roblox avatar and if you look right here you have this gorilla thing uh, i don't remember what it's called i think it's called like alan or something I, i'd have to look it up uh this is from attack on kaiju that's where that's from all right and if you guys are looking around here looking around the trees uh it is right in front of Fal uh, faso you can see Mr. Blameson's Roblox avatar in the tree. Oh, God. We'll see a little bit more of his Roblox avatar. I absolutely love his Roblox avatar. It is absolutely hilarious. Uh, but anyways, and as you guys can see up there, that is one of the developers who uh, helped work on this room. You'll see in each one of the rooms, and I'll show them off, uh, that a developer's avatar is usually in the room that they made. Uh, I believe that that might be Noemi's. Uh, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It's very possible that I'm wrong. Uh, but this is in Iguanothaurus's room. Now, here's a little funny one in Hinchin's room. If you walk into Hinchin's room and you look at this little plush thing, if you jump over here and look down here, uh, you'll notice a teaser thing that I kind of made a little while ago that I, that I talked about. Uh, this is the Adam Coelacanth, the Adam from uh, Has Been Hotel. It's right here, just sitting here. The model's fully finished, uh, never coming to the game. Uh, Inda said it would never come. Go ahead and, you know, get mad at Inda for that one. I'm just kidding, don't actually. But yeah, on to the next one. And as you can see right here, there's also another person's Roblox avatar. Uh, I want to say this is one of the developers. I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but there's another person's Roblox avatar right there. So, that was Henshin's room. And if you come over to this little, into Thokalosaurus's Thok room, you look in the little pond right here, you can see another Roblox avatar right here. Another Roblox avatar right here. In this room, there's a little crab right here. This little pond is actually really funny. There's a bunch of really small stuff in here. All right, this one isn't really an Easter egg or anything, but they have a bowl of caviar. This is caviar. This is the this is the egg. The eggs of uh, Jangolosaurus. Again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. It's there's literally an, a, a, a a glass container of caviar, which is just awful. I that's awful. Uh, but anyways, and as you can see here in this little water tank in front of Dolly's little area, uh, there's like an apato skin. Uh, it looks like a reefback apato, which I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not really a dinosaur arcade player, so I don't know if this was like a tease thing or something. But this definitely is like a dinosaur arcade skin. This might be an unused dinosaur arcade skin. 
another little fun Easter egg that most people aren't going to notice. Uh, if you look on Fruit Bat's shirt right there, that is the Dinosaur Incorporated symbol right there. Right there. All right, shout out to Dolly for representing the group. Make sure to join the group on Roblox if you guys want to get some of the merch. Uh, shameless plug right there. But anyways, there's a little secret right here. If you jump on this thing and then you like aim yourself kind of towards here and you jump, you can literally, this, there's a little hole right here. You can drop in here and you can just sit in here. Uh, there's another Roblox avatar hidden right here. And yeah, you can, you can, you can just sit inside here. You're, you're allowed to just go in here. Uh, I haven't figured out a way to get out, so uh, I guess I'll be stuck in here forever. But anyways, on to the next one. All right, and walking into Segna Pelta's room, you know, at a first glance, there's not really much. There's a little sand castle right here. There's little footprints over here, but there's actually a hidden snake right here that that's that's a little that's a little hidden. Uh, there's not really many that that many Easter eggs in this room. I'm gonna be honest, but it looks great nonetheless. On to the next one. Uh, Ankathotis, the only thing I can really see is this, like, little fruit thing. Uh, beyond that, I don't really see anything else in this room. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if there's some other secrets that I've missed in here. But anyways, on to the next one. Now into Alamedus' room. Uh, this room has, is just full of death. This is, this is like My Chemical Romance meets Dinosaur Simulator right here. That's what this room is. Uh, there's a lot of skulls around that you can find. There's a little hole right here. This doesn't lead anywhere, although it would be really cool if it did. Um, but yeah. Alright, and if we walk into here in this room, you're looking around, you don't really see much. I mean, you can walk on the trees if you jump on the fa Fasotherium, uh, little guy right there. But if you walk to this little red thing right here, the little picture, and you go around here, you can see another Blamison avatar. Look at this man. Look at that. Look at that giga chat of a face, man. What an angle right here. That is an, that is an absolute beaut right there. Uh, Blamison, I believe, worked on this room and was one of the main people who worked on this room. And uh, Blamison's pick is Fasotherium, from what I've heard. If you watch, go watch the live stream. He actually draws it, uh, so make sure to go check that out. Uh, on to the next one. All right, and if we walk into Allie's room, which is this, she's one of the moderators who got uh, in. By the way, for anyone who says it's rigged because she's a moderator, no, it's not rigged because she's a moderator. It's purely just because it's a good design. Uh, but if you look up, there's actually a hole in the roof, which is, wow. Uh, dude, I, I can't tell you how many times I looked in here, and I literally could, never saw that. I literally never saw that. So what you do, is you just jump up, and, and kind of pray, and you'll probably see me slow down, or speed up the footage, and just get going, but we'll see how long this takes me. Oh, okay, that actually worked that time. All right, and as you can see, I am outside of the voting area. If we jump up here, jump around here, run around, run around, run around. There's a little invisible ladder right here. You just run around the thing. Uh, but now, we're actually up here with this giant Bracky head, which is honestly terrifying. Because seeing from below, the Bracky statue, up here, the Bracky head is actually horrifying. Uh, and it's massive. We need this to be like a, de a Devasaur boss battle, just a neck of a Bracky. You can get up here, and there's actually there's actually a few secrets around the map. So if I jump out here, some of the stuff is gonna be like assets that they that were used, like these things, like little columns for the water and whatnot. You, if you walk over here, I don't know if you guys can recognize this. I'm assuming a toolbox thing. This is this is the Rex Rexy guy from Toy Story. For all you people who who know what Toy Story is. This is, this is the Rexy guy, and you can actually just push it around. You can just beat the crap out of Rexy from Toy Story. Next to this is actually, this is this was a thing that was actually initially going to be added in with the rooms, but I guess was removed afterwards. It was just going to be these little tiles that changed color when you walked over them, and honestly, this is really cool. I hope we get to see these somewhere in the future. Maybe like a, a puzzle that you got to figure out with these, like you got to make a certain like pattern or something with these to get a skin. That might be a little far-fetched, but... Uh, here's behind Dolly's room, I believe. More of these palette, palettes. And these were supposed to be themed around the color palette of the creatures. You can see the fish nice and close up. Just out in the open. You know, I feel like if, if I click on them, I can eat them, but I can't. But, yeah. That's how you get out of the map. You go through Ali's Malagurius room. 
and then you climb up the tree and you can go up there um and there is a blameson right there i don't know if you guys can see it's right where my mouse is that's blameson in the air just she's casually floating there like 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 a messiah it seems like the, the heavenly clouds are just like shining down on him but yeah that is all the secrets that i personally have discovered let me know down in the comments if you guys know of more secrets because i really want to know this map although it's only going to be out for about 10 days it's still really awesome that the dev team tried this hard on the map let me know down in the comments who you guys are voting for uh personally i'm not going to tell you because i'm going to wait until after the vote comes out uh and don't let any content creators uh giveaways youtubers you know developers moderators any of those don't let any people you know sway your vote and also uh, I'd like to point out, let's let's not be toxic towards any of the artists, because they worked really hard on these creatures, and there's not a lot of negativity in between uh, between them. Uh, I've seen a little bit of negativity in the community, um, not only just from people just talking, but I've actually seen it from the moderation team, which is, I'm not going to lie, that's a little embarrassing. Um, so, hopefully that improves in the future. I'm not going to name any names, but uh, let's keep the toxicity to a minimum. You know, this is, this is supposed to be fun. And honestly, I feel like a lot of these have skin potential. If your favorite hybrid does not get in the game, do not worry. It is possible these could come in as a skin. This could easily be a Kulasuka skin. This could easily be a Dilo skin. That could easily be a Quetz skin. Like, guys, come on. The, like, any of these things have very much skin potential. And even if your hybrid didn't make it into the competition, you possibly also have skin potential. So I could easily see, even though you might not get to be a hybrid, you know, the person who made the hybrid that gets into game... You could at least, you know, have an impression on DS no matter what. Even if you didn't win, you at least could say, hey, I participated in the Dinosaur Simulator Hybrid Contest. Uh, but anyways, guys, that'll be all for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!